program is new for the School of Social Work, but this specific partnership between a university and school and really focusing on that social emotional piece, as well as that college exploration, that workforce exploration, bringing in the parents to work with parents on certain topics. Um, it's a broader based program. I mean, ideally, that's what I want to have happen. They're all 11th and 12th graders. It's the critical time. Um, our model is that we are school based. Our staff and interns work out of the school during the school day and after school so that they're really seen as a partner with our high school, that they're, we're not seen as this outside program coming in or just doing after school work, but we're really there working with the teachers and administrators during the day with their students. We know that our students are at risk of dropping out for a number of reasons. Um, they may be facing family problems at home that are causing stress. It may be academic struggles that they're having that they really are not getting the material that the teacher is teaching. It may be the structure of their environment of living in poverty and not getting enough sleep because they're sharing their room with three or four siblings. If they're living with a single parent, they're responsible for helping get the kids to school. I mean, our kids really run the spectrum of those challenges that they're facing that are affecting their academic performance. So those students that come to us for counseling, we really do a um, comprehensive intake where we ask all of these questions about where do you sleep, where do you do your homework, what's your family life like, really doing that intake to get a sense of where are our kids and what are they struggling with. And from there it can design, okay, here's our unique intervention that we're going to do with you. So it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. We did design a summer program that ran the month of July here at the School of Social Work. We designed it that they would come to the college campus. We wanted to give them the opportunity to see what a college campus felt like. We took them to main campus so they could see main campus of Columbia. They got a lot out of that and were able to really visualize, okay, I can see college for myself. I can see this as a viable part of my future. We contracted with a company that does a lot of um, tutoring and SAT prep. They came and did morning sessions where the students not only learned the material but then once a week took a full-length practice exam. So they had a lot of practice of what it feels like to sit for this critical exam that they need to take when they need to apply to college. And after that in the afternoon we kind of broke out into different groups and activities that they could explore things that interested them. Good guns. My name is Marlene Montero. I'm the program coordinator for the Achievement Initiative. We did a entrepreneurship group where the students really thought about, okay, I want to start my own business. What is it going to take to do that? So they came up with a concept of what they wanted to build. The students chose to create an all-teen community center because a lot of them said they don't participate in community centers within their neighborhood because they think the focus m seems to be more on the younger kids than actual the teenagers. The ones that we're planning for is like from 18 to 14 is when usually people are more mature and there's some stuff you don't want to talk about with younger kids around so you feel more comfortable talking about it with people your own age. They really built a business plan from A to Z of okay if I want to start this community teen center in my neighborhood Here's how I'm going to get money, here's the programs I'm going to do. Most of them actually in the business group have thought about owning their own business, but how do you start it and not realizing that a lot of young professionals are opening their own businesses, so it's not something that can't happen for them, so kind of opening their mind to, I can do this, you know, this can happen. One of the things that was really important to us in planning the summer program and planning how we were going to culminate all the work that the students had put in uh, to their work during the summer was to include the families and friends of our students. Um, they worked hard over the summer. Our kids came in and really rose to the occasion for the night and got up and were able to pull it together and really support each other. And the students were saying, you can do it, it's okay, this is what you needed to say, and, and get them back on track. And it was really fun to watch. We really wanted them to showcase what they've been doing for this summer and be proud and share that with their family and friends. And we can probably progress in the future and um, help um, many other teenagers. This program, I think, is new for the neighborhood as well. Obviously, we sit in Morningside, we sit in Harlem. Um, this is a hub for us, but I think out of the School of Social Work, it's one of the first times that we're really involving the community, the immediate neighborhood, 
in the work that we're doing in the schools. But just in the daily interventions that we have with students, we've definitely noticed progress. Um, we have teachers and administration come to us and say, thank you for the work that you're doing. My students are actually coming to class now. The one that may have had a lot of behavioral outbursts and got into fights on a daily basis may only be fighting once every two weeks. And for us, that's progress. So our long-term goal is that we would really like to create a model within the Harlan and Morningside neighborhoods and schools that can be replicated across schools, that we really want to go in and support those schools that need the extra support, um, and especially with that social-emotional piece for students, and put our graduate students there to complete a field placement doing that social-emotional work with both the students and parents, and supporting schools in that way.